Adeleke receives unexpected message from APC after Tinubu allegedly gave him 2 billion naira. See what they reminded him. So what is this 2 billion naira for? Is it a personal gift to uh, Adeleke or is it money that is supposed to be used for first subsidy palliative? Because it, if it is first subsidy palliative, then it shouldn't be like Tinubu gave a delicate two billion naira as if it's a free money or personal money. It's a Nigerian money. Whatever the government shares uh, among the people for palliatives uh, or first subsidy palliative is still Nigerian money and not personal money. So we need to understand what is being uh, presented and represented here. So let's dive into the details. <coughs> the Osho State chapter of the All Progressive Congress has accused Governor Ademola Adeleke of obstructing President Bola Tinubu's administration by withholding a substantial 2 billion naira intervention fund designated for the removal of first subsidy. This assertion was made by the party's chairman, Tajuddin Lawa, during a statement released on Sunday. Hmm. Lawa strongly criticized Governor Adeleke for what he perceived as undermining the, fund the federal government's initiatives and programs, highlighting a lack of dedication to citizens' welfare. Hmm. It's now a PC propaganda. He expressed disbelief that any of the state government would retain the two billion naira first subsidy removal relief fund, especially after two months of receiving it. Ah so is it up to two months that that two billion was announced? We need to be sure here that what Tajuddin is alleging is true because we know that the palliative money was mentioned to uh, about two months ago but up till last month they were still trying to disburse this money and in meanwhile Tinubu said five million that the federal government will give to each state and most states are saying they've gotten only two uh, sorry five billion but most states have gotten just two billion so maybe it's part of that two billion uh, the Adeleke must have received, but is it up to two months? We need to verify. Lawa asked, what justification does the Oshun government have for openly denying its people access to federal government fund earmarked for this specific purpose? Is Governor Adeleke waiting for people to suffer before releasing the 2 billion naira federal government first subsidy removal relief? In response to the People Democratic Party's uh, in response, rather, the People Democratic Party PDP, represented by its chairman Sunday Bishi, criticized the APC's accusation. Bishi dismissed the allegation, stating, We are not a corrupt government like yours. Abi, oh, fire for fire, 1 1. He further defended Governor Deleke's commitment to due process, accountability, and transparency in all governmental processes. Bishi assured the public that procured orders for palliative materials and uh, had already been placed and that these materials would soon be delivered. Bishi emphasized that Governor Deleke's palliative plan was comprehensive and designed to adequately reach the masses. Hmm. He refuted any insinuations that a governor with a billionaire background would divert a publicly declared palliative fund, stating that only those with history of corruption would make such allegations against the governor. In this ongoing dispute between the APC and PDP in Oshun State, accusations of fund mismanagement and political rivalry continue to overshadow the intended purpose of the two billion uh, naira intervention fund for first subsidy removal. The people of Oshun State are left waiting for transparency and accountability in the utilization of these funds, while political tensions remain high. Hmm. So the tweet from the Tajuddin, uh, all I can see here it says, are you waiting for people to die before releasing the two billion, uh, two billion Tinubu gave uh, Oshu? Okay, APC tackles uh, Adeleke. So that is from Nigeria News uh, Twitter page. Okay, so that is the, the contention now in Oshu State. So it is obvious that the state governor has received the two billion naira intervention fund from federal government, 
and they are saying that the procurement order has been placed for all of the palliatives to be shared and they are waiting for their delivery. But already Tajudi is uh, the APC chairman in Ocean State, is already accusing um, Ocean State uh, PDP government, led by Governor Ademo Adeleke, that they are keeping the two billion to themselves, that are they waiting for when people will die before they will bring the money out. And normally, if it is APC government, they would have scattered that money left, right, and center. They would have broken the leg and hand and neck and head everything by now. And what will be left to procure palliatives will just be um will just be just small mega amount. They will share it because that is the normal thing they do. It's just like in Lagos State. It was a shameful thing to see that Lagos, because uh this tragedy is talking about Shun State, they've not extrayed Lagos. That Lagos was packaging a Jebugari at Badagri. Okay, and that is what they, you know, technically labeled very well with print material that this is a first subsidy palliative. What is it? Few cups of Ijebugari that is put in the cellophane to give people. Okay, they gave you few cups of rice and beans. Okay, at the end of the day, what is the cost of those rice and beans and gari versus what they receive from federal government? That's one part. That is, um, if you get all those mega items is it going to be enough for a family um when you collect rice don't you need oil meat fish and stew to eat the rice okay if you collect gari are you not going to use at least sugar and granite to soak the gari if you have to okay so where will that money come from so that is why everybody is saying that this sharing of money and all these weak palliatives is no solution to nigeria's problems Make improve the exchange rate, improve the economic power of Naira, improve the state of the country. Nigerians are not asking for free gift. They want to work for themselves. So give them the opportunity to work for themselves. And that is it. And, and they will pay tax. And they will see that they will succeed. They will work hard. But don't come and share that now they are sharing uh, uh, palliatives to how many? 12 million Nigerians. As they call them the poorest of the poor. Now, what is the criteria for identifying and determining that? What is, um, you know, how are they arriving at that? And how can you give 8,000 Naira to a household, not individual, a household? Okay, and you're going to give that money for six months and then you stop. So what happens after six months if things fails to get better? That is the question. I think at the end of the day, you find out it's a case of penny-wise pound foolish. That is not a solution to Nigerian problem. Restore the economic power of Naira, create employment opportunities, and allow Nigerians to fend for themselves. They will do that uh, very well without asking for additional help. Meanwhile, you are talking about 12 million Nigerians to support, but the Buhari government has thrown over 130 million Nigerians into poverty for eight years. So 130 million minus 12 million what are you going to do with the remaining 118 million? Eh? So that means there's no job done. That is the truth. And at the end of the day, we've also found that this issue of palliative is going to be like a case of the uh, school children feeding adopted by, uh, by Buhari's government, that only the children in the north actually got the food. So the north, they will continue to work out some of these benefits uh, of free gift and they give it to themselves. And then, and then south, it will not take effect, it will not be effective in the south because the south lifestyle is not for free gift like that. Okay? So at the end of the day, it's funny that the 12 million Nigerians they said they are looking for or they want to give palliative probably will be from the north or from middle belt and very few from south if need be. So it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, the solutions Nigeria is giving is just not... Uh, uh, tenable at all, not effective, and uh, the, the, con the government also seems to be clueless. They don't know what next, they seem to be confused and not knowing how to solve this problem. It's quite unfortunate. So, thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. That is what is happening in Ocean State APC accusing a delicate PDP led government for keeping the palliative money. But they are saying they have gotten the money and they are procured. They are Please order for the palliative materials and they are waiting for the delivery 
And it's only a government with corruption history will make such allegation. That is the response from a uh, PDP in uh, in Ocean State. Thank you for listening and let's have a comment.